in the subsequent slides we'll talk about ways of building resilience being resilient doesn't mean that a person won't experience difficulty or distress people who have suffered major adversity or trauma in their lives commonly experience emotional pain and stress in fact the road to resilience is likely to involve considerable emotional stress while certain factors might make some individual more resilient than others resilient isn't necessarily a personality trait the only one people possesses on the contrary resilience and wall behaviors thoughts and action that anyone can learn and develop the ability to learn resilience is one reason research has shown that resilience is ordinary and non and not extraordinary the one example is the response of many many americans to the september 11 2001 terrorist attack that individuals efforts to rebuild their lives after tragedy like building a muscle increasing your resilience take times and intentionality focusing on four core components connection wellness healthy thinking and meaning can empower you to withstand and learn from difficult and traumatic experiences to increase your capacity for resilience to weather and to grow from the difficulties you actually do is use these strategies so the first strategy would be building your connections in this you may prioritize relationship connecting with empathetic and understanding people can remind you that you are not alone in the midst of difficulty focus on finding trustworthy and compassionate individuals who validate your feelings which will support the skill of resilience The pain of traumatic events can lead some people to isolate themselves but it's important to accept help and support from those who care about you whether you go on a weekly date night with your spouse or plan a lunch out with a friend try to prioritize genuinely connecting with people who care about you you may join a group or be a part of a community along with one one on one relationships Some people find that being active in civic groups, faith-based communities or other local organizations provide social support and can help you reclaim hope. Research group in your area that could offer you support and a sense of purpose or joy when you need it. You can also foster wellness. You can take care of your body. Self-care may be a popular buzzword, but it's also a legitimate practice for mental health and building resilience. That's because stress is just as, as much physical as it is emotional. Promoting positive lifestyle factors like proper nutrition, ample sleep, hydration, and regular exercise can strengthen your body to adapt to stress. and reduce the toll of emotions like anxiety or depression you may also practice mindfulness mindfulness journaling yoga and other spiritual practices like prayer or meditation can also help people build connection and restore hope which can prime them to deal, deal with such situations that require resilience When you journal, meditate or pray, ruminate or on positive aspects of your life and recall the things you are grateful for even during personal trials, you actually avoid negative outlets. It may be tempting to mask your pain with alcohol, drugs or other substance abuses, but that's like putting a bandage on a deep wound. focus instead of giving your body resources to manage stress rather than seeking to eliminate the feeling of stress altogether you may find purpose in your life looking for the purpose in any act of your life how how you can do it you can do that by being altruistic by helping others whether you volunteer with a local homeless shelter or simply support a friend in their own time of need You can garner a sense of purpose, foster self-worth, connect with other people and tangibly help others. All of which can empower you to grow in resilience. You can be proactive. Proactively participate in problem solving and in turn foster self-discovery. 
it's helpful to acknowledge and accept your emotions during hard time but it's also important to help you foster self discovery by asking yourself what can i do about a problem in my life if the problem seems too big to tra- tackle break them down into manageable pieces for example if you got laid off at work you may not be able to convince your job it was a mistake to let you go but you can spend an hour each day developing your own top strengths or working on your resume taking initiative will remind you that you can muster motivation and purpose even during stressful periods of your life increasing the likelihood that you will rise up during painful times again you can progress towards your goal moving towards your goal is another key criteria of building resilience it may sounds like i'm preaching but trust me it works develop some realistic goals and do something regularly even if it seems like a small accomplishment that enables you to move towards the things you want to accomplish Instead of focusing on tasks that seems unachievable, ask yourself, what's one thing I know I can accomplish today that helps me to move in the direction I want to go? For example, if you are struggling with the loss of a loved one, you wanted to move forward, you could join a grief support group in your area. Look for opportunities for self-discovery. People often find that they have grown in some respect as the struggle as a result of a struggle for example after a tragedy or hardship people have reported better relationship and greater sense of strength even while feeling vulnerable that can increase their sense of self worth and heighten their appreciation of for life inculcating the processing of healthy thought another very important practice one sh- one should indulge in by doing how can you do that keeping things in perspective first you can do you can start with this how can you think can play a significant part in how you feel and how resilient you are when faced with obstacles try to identify areas of irrational thinking such as tendency to catastrophize difficulties or assume that world is out to get you and adopt a more balanced and realistic thinking pattern do not indulge in cognitive distortions as famous Aaron Beck might have said for instance you feel overwhelmed by challenge remind yourself that what happened to you isn't an indicator of how your future will go and that's you are not helpless You may not be able to change a highly stressful event but you can change how you interpret and respond to it. You can also accept change. Accept that change is a part of life. Certain goals or ideals may no longer be attainable as a result of adverse situations in your life. Accepting circumstances that cannot be changed can help you focus on circumstances that you can alter. You can also maintain a hopeful outlook. It's hard to be posit- positive when life isn't going your way. An optimistic outlook empowers you to expect that good things will happen to you. Try visualizing what you want rather than worrying about what you fear along the way. Note any subtle ways in which you start to feel better as you deal with difficult situations. you can learn from your past by seeking or looking back at who or what was helpful in previous time of distress you may discover how you can respond effectively to new difficult situations remind yourself of where you have been able to find strength and ask yourself what you have learned from those experiences you may also seek help when it is crucial in building resilience for your well-being Getting help when you need it is crucial in building your resilience. For many people, using their own resources and the kind of strategies listed above may be enough for building their resilience. But at times, an individual might get stuck or may have difficulty making a progress on the road of resilience. A licensed mental health professional such as psychologist can assist people in developing an appropriate strategy for moving forward it is important to get professional help 
If you feel like you are unable to function as well as you would like or perform basic activities of living as a result of a traumatic or other stressful life experience, keep in mind that different people tend to be comfortable with different styles of interaction. To get the most out of your therapeutic relationship, you should feel at ease with mental health professional or in a support group. The important thing is to remember is you are not alone on the journey. While you may not be able to control all of your circumstances, you can grow by focusing on the aspects of life's challenges you can manage with the support of loved ones and trusted professionals.